ombres, pastels, brights. Clearly, I am obsessed. Hey guys, I am Apurva. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we will be learning how to make these very, very adorable crochet butterfly keychains. So let's dive right into it. So in today's video, I will be using three shades of anchor cotton threads. You can use any shade you want. I am planning to make an ombre keychain for today's video. A 1.75 mm crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a key ring, a piece of ribbon. I am using a 3 mm width ribbon, some plastic beads, and at the end of the project, I will be using a lighter to kind of close off my ribbon so that it doesn't fray. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start off by making our crochet butterflies. I have made a Hindi tutorial about crochet butterflies, so you can check that out. I will link that in the description below. So let's start with a slip knot. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch into the first chain to make a circle. Chain three. One, two, three. This acts as your double crochet. One double crochet into the circle. chain two now we're going to start the repeat pattern which is two double crochet and two chains one two two and as you can see we have two sets complete we want to make a total of eight sets so do that and i'll meet you here here I am at the end of my round. As you can see, I have made eight sets of two double crochets and two chains. Here I will slip stitch into the very top of the first three chains that I had made, which is also acting as my first double crochet. So I'm going to slip stitch into that so that my first round is complete. Now to start off the second round, I'm going to make a slip stitch right into the space between the first three chain and the double crochet i'm going to make a slip stitch and into this chain two space i will be making six double crochets one two three four, five, and six. Once you've done that, slip stitch into the space between these two double crochets. And you want to repeat that all around, six double crochet into the chain two space, slip stitch into the space between the two double crochet. So do that all around and I'll meet you here. I have just completed my last six double crochets into the chain two space. I'm going to slip stitch right into the space. Now I will make eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and fold my butterfly with my right side outwards. Take my chain eight, wrap it around, all around this way, and back where I started, and I'm going to slip stitch into the very first chain of the eight chains that I just made. So here I'm going to slip stitch, Cut off your working thread.
pull out your crochet thread from here pull it tightly and now we can weave in all our ends using a darning needle now that my butterflies are ready I'm just going to place them this way and in order to decide how much of ribbon I'm going to need I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and I will also need some space in between for the beads so you place your ribbon this way I'm gonna cut about this much So I've actually cut my ribbon a little more than 12 inches. Next, I'm going to fold my ribbon in half and with the two open sides, place it into the bottom chain of my keychain. And just make a nice knot. Now, with the help of my darning needle, I'm going to insert my first butterfly right into the center. I will be entering my needle and here. And there, our first butterfly is ready. All right, now that we have our butterflies and beads in place, we can just tie a knot right at the end. Now I'm going to hold my two ribbons together, trim the excessive off. Using a lighter, just gonna very slightly so that is going to prevent my ribbon from fraying, and our butterfly keychain is complete. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.